Got a couple good looking kids. Uh, Aramis Carson can play some tight end. Uh, Cameron Ewer can play some tight end. Uh, Colton Guerrero, our Mike linebacker, he can step in and play some tight end. So if we needed to go to some, some tight end sets, we could definitely do it. Is it our bread and butter? Not, no, not really. I mean, Mikel's another one, like, it was, it was great to have, man. I mean, we're definitely gonna miss those two. Uh, Carlsbad's gonna look great. I mean, that Austin Turner kid is a rock star. Uh, they're going to be very good. I've seen them ranked anywhere from, you know, eight up to five in a couple polls. Brawley's going to be really good just in the sense because that Klein kid is just our stud, man. He's so good. He single-handedly almost took over that game last year. And the kid never comes off the field and his motor never stops running. I mean, I remember he was off on kick return when we were playing him last year and I chipped over to him. I was like, you ever come off the field? And he just laughed and said, no, I'm always on the field coach. So he's... He's really good. Benita's going to be the one that I think mentally we'll have to get our kids ready because, you know, they're going to look at their last year record and, and think that they're not very good. But I, I, I saw them in, a set, in several passing tournaments this summer. Man, they're, they're legit, man. They, those guys are running all over the place. Uh, they've got an attitude that's, that's, you know, they're ready to win some games. So uh, I don't think – I think – from a coaching perspective, that may be the toughest game because I think mentally our kids will be ready for right. Carl's bad. You're going up against some D1 guys that are getting a lot of pub. Brawley, another guy that's getting a lot of pub. So that's the one where I'm going to have to say, okay, look, we got to we got to dial this in. Like this isn't a team that you're just going to be able to show up and beat just because they didn't win any games last year. I mean, they're they're hungry and they're ready. I mean, I, I played for a team that went defeated. Like I, I went 0 and 10 my junior year in high school and. Coming back our senior year, man, we were we were angry. So I, I assume they're probably the same thing. Well, and um, the last thing I'm going to touch on, another thing that uh, people tend to forget is, I mean, your JV last year went 9-1. and one, So yeah. um, you got several of those players coming up that yeah. are going to make a big difference as well. I mean, For sure. Chance Johnson is coming up. He played a lot in the playoffs. He started in the state championship game. Uh, our freshman team was 9-1 and one also, so we've got – Colton Grail is a sophomore that's starting right now on varsity. Josiah Stewart's a sophomore that's starting at, at our nose guard. Uh, there's there's some good looking kids on the JV team that I I told the varsity guys, look, I I'll, I'll pull a guy up. I don't I don't don't think that that spot's yours. I don't care if, if a sophomore is better than you, man. You better put in the work because those guys are hungry down there too. So right, it, it it we've got a lot of good things going for us right now, and we're. We're doing our best to ride it out and continue it. And improve. I can tell you first thing, uh, and you probably already know they're on your radar, but uh, the last two schools I've been to is El Capitan and Granite Hills. And yeah. they both, uh, most of the kids, they want to rematch with Steel Canyon. Yeah, I'm sure. Good, good. I mean, we, we love to compete. Uh, both those programs are awesome pro programs. I know the coaches really well. Uh, Ron over at El Cap's a good friend of mine, Kellen. Over at Granite Hills, a very good friend of mine. Both are doing phenomenal things with their programs. So, I mean, our, I think our league in general is going to be is going to be definitely up this year. Like, guys are ready, and, and coaches are coaching their tails off. Yeah, and I, I I'm sure Granite Hills wants, you know, I mean, we've we've had literally such great football games the last four or five games with them that, you know, it's it's always just a it's it's one point either way, three points either way. I mean. And that's gone back the last two or three years. So, and a lot of our kids, they know each other. We have a lot of Alpine kids, and you know, there's that mix of Ranch of San Diego kids that some are going to Granite Hills, and it's it'll it'll be a fun. Our league is going to be a fun experience every week. Um, I'm just ready with my guys. We're out here at practice. We're getting ready for all the weeks. I wouldn't say exactly a week is hard. Each uh, a separate week is hard, but we're just going to practice hard and get ready for all of them together. And. You know, you're you're more on the uh, defense. Uh, however, when you are on offense in the slot, I mean, what's the dif difference been so far? Um, not having Fish behind center. Losing Fish was, was big for us, but we got three quarterbacks. We currently have a quarterback competition going on, and I've and I have faith in all three of them. So I think I think it's going to work out just fine. And then as far as uh, 
league now, you guys will be up there with the uh, Helix teams and the Girl Smart teams. I mean, how does that feel? It feels good because I think I th we've worked hard enough to be up there to be categorized as a team that's competing for our league, and, and so it just feels good. What would you say is the biggest strength of the team right now? Um, I think the biggest strength of the team right now is we have a whole lot of athletes and we have a whole lot of people at, at, at certain positions and we can we can put people here and put people here and the offense and defense will still run pretty pretty smooth so I think that's our, our biggest advantage right now. And really when it comes to weaknesses, I mean, um, there, there really isn't uh, much of a weakness but if you had to pick a spot where you could improve on, where would that be in your eyes? Sometimes we're too athletic and we try to do things off of... Uh, off of just instinct, and so we're kind of getting a little bit more disciplined. But mostly, we're looking pretty good. And uh, last last question for you. I mean, how is it, uh, you personally, to work for underneath a coach like Coach Longerbone? Oh, man, I love Coach Longerbone. He's great for the organization. He's done a lot for me, myself, and uh, I'm just glad that I'm here still hanging, and I wouldn't be anywhere else. Go ahead. Kenneth Watson, running back, number seven. And now, Kenneth, is this your third year on varsity? This is actually my second. I had just transferred to Still Canyon right before my junior year last year. Now, how does that feel to be able to have uh, not only yourself carrying the load, but you're going to have Neely back there? So, it look, kind of like a one two punch in the backfield. That give you some rest? Um, well, that is kind of the offense that we ran last year. So, it's going to be the same thing with the one two punch. And uh, this this season, as compared to last year, I mean, like we, we talked about briefly before we went on camera, I mean, it's it's hard to go back and, and win state. I mean, there's going to be a lot of high expectations. You guys are picked as uh, number 10 in the county. Um, I mean, does that feel like you got a lot of pressure? I feel like number 10 is a little low. But at the same time, I do understand because we are just now coming up to Division One from D2, so there will be a lot. There will be some pressure just because we did win it all in D2. Well, I think it, you know they have you also rated almost uh, identical on all sides of the ball with Grossmont, so you're you're right at that level. I mean, that's I, I don't know how you would take that, but I, I would take that as a compliment to be right there with Grossmont since they've been there for a while. Yeah, Grossman, they do have a pretty solid team up there. I mean, we I think we play them in like the second half of the season this year. That's going to be a pretty tough battle. Well, I think you'll you get tuned up well. I mean, you got you got Brawley again, who last year you, it was the first game of your season. I was just talking to Billy about it. You guys went up there 105 degrees at kickoff. Um, and coming away with the W, I mean, you guys fought hard for that one which was a fantastic win to start off with. But then not only do you have Carlsbad, but then you even have a lot of people forget about Benita Vista. That's another tough one that you have on your schedule. Yeah, we we actually played Benita Vista in a 707, and they were actually really good. Their route running was real crisp, and they the receivers had good hands catching the ball. Their quarterback was very accurate, and I'm pretty sure he's pretty quick. I've seen a lot of mobility out of him, even in the 707 tournament. Now, what do you say that overall would be, since you're mostly offense, what would you say is the biggest difference that you see compared to last year's championship team? Uh, well, last year we definitely had lost a lot of players. We so I think most of our defense were that was starting were all seniors. So we're going to have a tough time replacing that. But we also do have a lot of young dudes coming up that I feel like are going to be a lot of, that are going to make a big impact on our season. And you have a new replacement from, uh, as, as Coach called him, kind of a uh, secret weapon from Jersey that uh, replacing. I know, I know Grossmont, I know a couple guys from over there. I know we, we're definitely looking for the last two league games, Helix and Grossmont, but I think that the guys here that you know we lost last year, but our guys have definitely stepped up and we're, we're excited for this year and definitely excited. <laughs> Kenneth Watson, running back, number seven. And now, Kenneth, is this your third year on varsity? 
This is actually my second. I had just transferred to Still Canyon right before my junior year last year. Now, how does that feel to be able to have uh, not only yourself carrying the load, but you're going to have Neely back there? So, it kind of like a one two punch in the backfield. That give you some rest? Um, well, that is kind of the offense that we ran last year. So, it's going to be the same thing with the one two punch. I feel like number 10 is a little low. But at the same time, I do understand because we are just now coming up to Division One from D two, so there will be a lot. There will be some pressure just because we did win it all in D two. Yeah, Grossman, they do have a pretty solid team up there. I mean, we I think we play them in like the second half of the season this year. That's gonna be a pretty tough battle. We we actually played Bonita Vista in a seven on seven, and they were actually really good. Their route running was real crisp and. They, the receivers had good hands catching the ball. Their quarterback was very accurate, and I'm pretty sure he's pretty quick. I've seen a lot of mobility out of him, even in the 707 tournament. Now, what do you say that overall would be, since you're mostly offense, what would you say is the biggest difference that you see compared to last year's championship team? Uh, well, last year we definitely had lost a lot of players. We so I think most of our defense were that was starting were all seniors so we're gonna have a tough time replacing that but we also do have a lot of young dudes coming up that i feel like are going to be a lot of that are going to make a big impact on our season you got bonita vista that's always a tough one as well um and then you'll uh i mean if you can win two out of three of those and then start league. I mean, I think that's a good way to start off yeah, the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in my guys. You know, I, I 100%, you know, we're going to get, our coaches are going to get us there, and we're going to be definitely a team to be reckoned with once we start league. And uh, what, one last thing, uh, what, what are your thoughts on your, your new quarterback, your new guy behind center? Uh, I, you know, I haven't really met him that much, but from what I know, you know, I know he's a good guy. Definitely knows the offense, or well, trying to get to know the offense, and uh, definitely wants to learn. And I like that. And, you know, he's definitely trying to get to know our O-line. Like I said, chemistry. So, I need, I mean. And then to be able to have the same great coaching staff. And what, what do you think? Is the pressure on that uh, for a repeat? Uh, I mean, the pressure is always on for any great season after coming back. But, uh, I mean, not really because, you know, our coaches know, our players know that we're going to have a great season no matter what. And if we don't make a state, you know. Are you right now? Uh, there's two teams I've already met with, and they've circled you on the calendar um, as you spoiled two of their seasons. Uh, that would be Granite Hills, especially, and uh, El Capitan also has you circled. Yep. Yeah, we're excited for Granite, and I'm pretty sure Granite's in our league this year. And uh, we're definitely ready for Granite and El Cap. You know, I mean, this league is pretty incredible, you know, with the, team, the teams we've got in this league. And I know that. No matter what team we're playing, we're going out there and we're going to you know, try to be physical, athletic, aggressive, and I know we're going to get the win. And you know a lot of those guys too on both of oh, those yeah. teams, right? Yeah, uh, Granite, El Cap, Valhalla, Helix, Grossmont, you know, y'all you all grow up with them, you all play with them, you know, through Pop Warner, through AYF, and you know, you're just excited to play them every, every, uh, every year. And 